Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name's Craig. In this series of videos, we're going to be looking at how we can get started using Ableton's fantastic Push 2 controller. In this overview video, we'll look at how we can get started with the Push 2 controller, learn note and session mode, and also learn how to launch clips and scenes. Let's jump straight into it and get on the push and see how this all works. So this is the push controller. This is just connected straight to Ableton and it runs something called a MIDI script. What that does is it means it doesn't need any custom MIDI mapping and it will map up automatically to Ableton. So let's turn it on. When you first turn it on, you'll notice that in Ableton, we have now a yellow line that goes round clips are available. But on the push, you'll see the, the lights are not there working. Because as a default, when you first turn it on, it goes to something called note mode. Here, okay. So we have two main modes, which is note mode and session mode. Note mode enables us to play the push as a MIDI controller. If we go to session mode, see the colors now come on. And we have one flashing light and that corresponds to the illuminated play button on the first clip the first channel so up here we have a display which we can flip between device mix clip and browse we're on device at the moment then the top of the channel you can select what device you choose on what channel let's go ahead and play our first clip That corresponds to the clip in Ableton. I play this clip. And if I bring in this scene here, these buttons down here control the scene. And let's stop it and press this here. Now to control the filter, you see, we need to have device set, choose which channel it's on, press that channel, then now it's this dial, it's this dial here, the frequency that will control it. So let's turn that right down and try that again. So let's go from the start. really is as simple as that to get going with the push. So try this with the song that you've arranged in Ableton, plug in the push, make sure you select the session mode, control the scenes, then control any audio effects you put on the channel by selecting the channel, then selecting device. <laughs> 